as Valentine's Day inches closer, relationships are on everyone's minds. Here to tell us a little bit more about positive and romantic relationships is Dr. Tim Perry with Frontier Health. Dr. Perry, thanks for joining us on First at Four today. Thank you. Well, first off, we know that right now love is in the air for everybody. We know Valentine's Day is coming up this week. Tell us, how do you know if you're in a healthy relationship or maybe it's not so healthy? Well, you know, there's foundations for a good relationship. They start with things like trust and honesty, mm -hmm. open communication, equality and respect and, and fair treatment and good treatment and kindness to somebody. Uh, it's basically judging how does this person that I'm in this relationship with or want to be in a relationship with treat me as a person, as an individual? And there are certain questions you can ask to kind of gauge that. Do they respect me as a person? Do they treat me well as an individual? Do they give me space to be individual, to be myself? Do they respect my opinion? How do they treat the people I care about and that are important to me? And do they show me that I'm on an equal value with them and not in a demeaned level with them? And you know, this can go for friendships too, not just necessarily romantic relationships, but we know that, you know, right now you see the hearts everywhere. You walk into a store, there are balloons and you walk into, you know, bakeries and they have all the Valentine's Day specials. So what happens if you maybe, you know, see all these things and you're just really longing to have a Valentine or that special person in your life? What are some ways you can cope with that? Well, first of all, it's, it's important to recognize that you can be in a relationship and not be in a romantic relationship and still have a good relationship. And sometimes it's okay not to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. There are millions of people that this Valentine will not be in a relationship with anybody else. And it may be by choice or it may be by circumstances outside of their control. It's okay to be with in that situation and to allow yourself to recognize you don't have to be in a romantic relationship on Valentine's to still have a Valentine. You can be a Valentine to yourself. Treat yourself well. Be respectful to yourself. You could go take yourself to the theater, uh, cook your favorite meal, order your favorite food out. Do something nice for yourself that rewards you. That's part of what loving is all about, is giving to someone. So when you love yourself, give to yourself, and that's okay to do that. Absolutely, and speaking of that, you know, we know that, you know, some people, they are going through a breakup maybe this time of year. Let's talk a little bit about what are some ways you can cope, you know, with those feelings as this holiday about love is, is coming up soon. Relationships have a lot of emotion tied to them. So when a relationship ends, even if it's a positive end, it can be very emotionally taxing on an individual. Mm -hmm. And there are typically three stages that an individual goes through when they have a breakup, similar to what you go through in grief. The first is kind of denial that it's actually ending. The second is that uh, feeling of, of rejection or that disappointment that sometimes comes with anger at the relationship and trying to get it back, fighting for that relationship to come back. Mm -hmm. And the third is the resolution that it's over, that relationship has ended and that acceptance of that. Each three of those can have different emotions tied to them. One can be anger, uh, the fight to get it back. The other, uh, when we accept it's over, can lead to despair, depression, and anxiety. When you're going through those kinds of situations, do not hesitate to reach out sometimes to a professional, especially if you're falling into that despair level after a relationship. Be careful that you do not allow yourself to fall into the pitfalls of alcohol or drugs or rebound relationships, which can end very poorly. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Perry, thank you so much for coming on today and happy Valentine's Day a little early to you. And for more information, you can reach out to Frontier Health at the email address right there on your screen.